Well, it's broken, all right. Oh, you gotta fix it, Doc. There's a big fight coming up. She's gotta defend her title. Look, Peter, I don't think there's gonna be any fight. What are you talking about? Look at me. I got a broken nose. I think this is a sign that maybe it's time to hang up the gloves. What are you, out of your mind? Wow, don't you give me that attitude, Peter. Look, Lois, we're making a lot of cash with this boxing thing. And I need money for bourbon and anime. Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a 10-year-old girl or a monster. I don't care about the money, Peter. I don't care about boxing. The only reason I did this in the first place was because of you. What do you mean? Peter, sometimes you're so insensitive and you make me so angry, I just want to clock you in the jaw. Uh, obviously, I can't do that, so boxing was an outlet. Wait, you mean the reason you fight so good is... Yeah, because I'm making believe I'm fighting you. Wow. Am I that much of a bastard? Sometimes, yes. Jeez, Lois. I'm sorry. I... I... I mean, I mean, I, I don't mean to be, I just... Look, if you don't want to fight anymore, you don't have to. Well, good. And the truth is, I suppose I kind of got most of it out of my system anyway. Oh, I love you, Lois. I love you too, Peter. Is it cool if I tell your insurance that I gave you heart surgery? Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of her retirement, after 17 consecutive victories, I hereby dedicate this statue to Quahog's greatest fighter, Lois Griffin. I'm also having a celebratory keg party back at my house later. You can tell your parents that my parents will be there. <laughs> but they won't be. And now, a few words from Lois Griffin herself. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. And thank you for always cheering me on at all my fights. Hey, Griffin! <gasps> oh, my God, that's Deirdre Jackson. Who's that? Only the deadliest fighter in all of women's boxing. She's killed three people in the ring. Her fists are so dangerous, she's not allowed to be a lesbian. I know why you're retiring, Griffin. You're scared. Scared? Of what? Of me! Look at these people giving you a statue for fighting a bunch of bums! If you're so great, why don't you prove it? Fight me! Look, I don't need to prove anything. I'm retired, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Oh, yeah? Hey, man! You want a real woman? Why don't you bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real woman! No, I'm ashamed! Hey, that's my husband you're talking to! Yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it? You gonna fight me? Look, I already said... Get down on your hands and knees, fatty! Yeah, yes, sir! Look at me, Griffin! I'm milking me a cow! Moo for me! Moo! Louder! Moo! Louder! Moo! Louder! Moo! All right, that's it! You want a fight? You got one! Now you get your hands off my man before I break him off! <laughs> my parents! The party's off, everybody! Get the out of here! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up next, a boxing match where the fighters are bleeding before the fight? We've got exclusive coverage of tonight's women's boxing bout, Griffin vs. Jackson. We're here live with contender Deirdre Jackson outside her dressing room. Deirdre, is it true you've killed three women in the ring? Tonight it's gonna be four. Are you saying you intend to kill your opponent? Let's just say you don't want to miss round six. <gasps> Lois, you can't go out there. What? Why not? Because if you step into that ring, she's gonna kill you. No, she's not, Peter. What the hell kind of talk is that? Now, I'm gonna win this thing. Look, Lois, you don't have to do this for me. I know I make you mad sometimes, but I thought we agreed you'd hang up the gloves. I'll hang up the gloves after I knock her ass out. Peter, she milked your boobs, and there were a lot of people I knew there. Now, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 